Abdel and Design and Technology. Our topic for today is Design Fundamentals. We are going to learn about technology and the applications of design and technology in everyday life. So, are you ready? Let's go! What is technology? Technology is used to improve our everyday life. Technology is ever present in our life. We have smartphones, cameras, wireless earphones, computers and smart watches. I'm sure most of you have one or more of these objects or dreaming to have one. However, technology is not restricted to these gadgets only. At home, we are already using other electrical and electronic equipment like the coffee maker, iron, microwave, kettle, lamps, solar lamps and many other useful objects. Technology refers to materials, tools and machines that allow us to have an easy and comfortable life. For example, we have semi-low floor buses in the transport sector. Robotics is being developed to perform complicated tasks. The picture is showing a very famous technological gadget. I'm sure most of you listening to me today would like to have one. Am I right? The drone gives us a nice aerial view and with some training it is quite easy to control it. So, we come back again to the definition. Technology uses modern tools, devices and machines to create goods and services to enhance our life. Do you agree? Let us consider a camera. So, do you know what a camera is? That's not a very difficult question for you. It is a device for recording images in the form of photographs, movie film or video signals. Let us look at the history and evolution of the camera over centuries. Don't worry, we are not going to see all the details. The first generation of cameras came around 1810. They looked very bulky and they didn't seem to be very user friendly too. It was well known as the box camera in those days. The second generation of cameras slightly evolved using different technologies. They were mostly using the film. Then came the Polaroid camera, which provided instant photographs in the 1970s. This generation of cameras were more user-friendly and it gave better pictures. So, are you aware of this way of taking and developing photographs? Then, in the 1990s came the digital camera. With rapid evolution, mobile phones have taken up the function of camera. Today, the smartphone offers many options. You can have access to the internet, TV, videos, microphone, camcorder, user interface, radio and so many other facilities are available. Technology has revolutionized our way of living and thinking. The smartphone allows viewing using virtual reality glasses. It can control CCTV cameras, TV, air conditioning and so many other applications can be also monitored. Now you know what a design and technology is all about. Let us consider some applications of design and technology in everyday life. 
At home, we have a variety of home appliances that make our life easier. There are oven, microwaves, washing machine, refrigerator, pumps, and many other devices. Do ask your parents about other facilities that you have at home. In the transport sector, starting from animals to modern vehicles, transport sector has undergone so many changes. We can travel by road, sea and air. The Metro Leger will soon be a reality in Mauritius. We have faster and safer means of transport now. And the environment. In Mauritius, we are promoting green energy. We are using hydropower, wind energy and photovoltaic solar farms to generate electricity. Further, there are also solar water heaters. We are still at a very initial stage, but hopefully our green energy contribution will increase with the coming years. In leisure activities, the games now are so entertaining with enhanced graphics and better resolution. New music players and accessories are more comfortable to use while moving. To summarize, technology uses materials, tools and machines to make our life easier and more comfortable. Well, that's all for today. See you soon.